started yoga about 12 years ago. Immediately I walked out of class and I felt this, you know, buzzing and I felt a bit taller and so I knew it was something that I wanted to continue. Slow down the thoughts, slow down the busyness and just learn to be. And so in that learning to be and learning to be present, you can then walk out into the world and say, well, what if I just kept that going? And if I just was in this moment and tried to stay present and not let all these things come in bombarding. And so it wasn't just a physical class, it became a, a mental discipline. In the last two years, my practice has become very serious in the sense of, you know, creating a daily practice and really making that effort and time to be on the mat throughout the busyness of running a family and a business, finding those moments, even if it's half an hour in the morning and half an hour in the afternoon. I find when I get on the mat and I allow that time, then energy comes up that then helps you get everything else done anyway. So if you had struggled along and said, oh, I'm too busy, I'm just gonna keep getting all these things done, you often don't do it with as clear a mind. So I find stopping, practicing, actually helps the energy flow and you feel like you accomplish more. I have three kids, three kids now, yep. Um, little Dylan's only five, so I had that period of continuing Iyengar yoga through the pregnancy with him, and then he was my most settled baby as well, which is interesting because throughout the time of doing the yoga with him, you know, being within me, I feel he just is so calm, and I often, you know, do credit that calmness that I felt throughout the pregnancy and continuing the practice to that, you know, going into him and calming his nervous system and making him a very balanced little person. Wanting to teach was about really bringing some depth into my understanding of it. So coming a bit away from the physical side of the poses and actually starting to have more of a vocal understanding of it and a mental understanding as well. Just really piecing it all together, I think, making the puzzle more whole. And then, you know, because of how important yoga has become in my life, wanting to share that with people and realizing that if you can teach and you can pass on this amazing gift to other people and let them experience some of that just how wonderful that may be.